All right, so we have all of the spark plugs out and I pulled all the spark plugs so that I could do the compression test. I've disabled the coil so it won't fire through the spark plug wire since they're all disconnected. I'm not turning off the fuel because since I have all of the spark plugs out, any fuel that goes down into the cylinders will, will blow out and you know end up um, probably not causing any problems. I have my compression tester and the line here I have it screwed into cylinder number one right now and I got this just at a Harbor Freight type of tool um, so pretty inexpensive for this test set um, and I'm going to crank over the engine we're gonna watch this pressure come up it should be somewhere I'm hoping around 120 psi and then it should stay there after I stop cranking I'm gonna crank just for um, couple of uh, just let it crank over a few times until this kind of stabilizes and isn't going up anymore So here are all the spark plugs, and I labeled them cylinders 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8, and the spark plugs are with them. And then I did a compression test on each of the cylinders, and for the most part they looked pretty good except for cylinder number 3, um, where all of the others were pretty close to 120. We had a, a 130 up here and we had a 100. Um, number 3 is at 70. And looking at the spark plug, I don't see anything obvious there. It doesn't look, uh, you know, oil fouled or, or anything. Um, and so I don't know why I'm getting such a, a low compression on that cylinder. I'm going to squirt a little bit of oil in that cylinder and do a wet test to see if um, the compression is being lost down around the rings into the engine or into the crankcase. Um, versus maybe a problem with a valve that's that's not seating or something in the, the top half of the engine. So that will be our, our next thing to test here on that. Just the cylinder number three, everything else looks pretty All good. All right, so I put some oil in that cylinder and we're gonna crank it again and see if the, the compression test shows anything different. So still basically right at 70 psi and so since I put oil in there it means it's probably not something leaking down around the piston rings and so it's probably a problem on the top half um, a valve not seating correctly or uh, maybe a problem with uh, with a lifter or something so still not good but uh, it helps us narrow things down a bit all right so we did the the wet test and didn't really change the compression um, because of the difference in compression, definitely have a concern with cylinder number three. Um, I'm not sure what my next steps will be. So it was running okay beforehand, so um, we're probably not exactly dead in the water just yet, but definitely something I don't want to leave alone too long or go on any long trips. And so um, I may do a leak down test and see if I can identify if it's an exhaust valve or an intake valve or a head gasket um, because it didn't lose pressure on the wet test I'm thinking it's on the top half of the engine so a valve problem um, the fix for any of those things is probably going to be about the same it's going to be pulling the heads uh, having the heads resurfaced um, you know resurface or replace valves I suppose I don't know I'll have to research that but I think for now we've done the compression test Unfortunately, didn't find great results. Uh, I was expecting to see maybe a little bit lower than average compression uh, because this engine has 110,000 miles on it and as far as we know it's never been rebuilt or anything. Um, but I was hoping not to find a, a problem on any one cylinder. So um, good test to do, not the best result, but at least we have done a compression test now.